What's up? My name is Wombo Combo. Kevin V. Hill. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Okay. Um, and would you like to name the games you either play seriously or the fighting games you specialize in? Uh, I say the game that I specialize in is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but I also play Street Fighter 4 Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So what initially got you into fighting games? Not necessarily um, playing them at a high level, but what, what, what gave you that interest to like the fighting games? Before I knew about big tournaments, when I was actually like 11 or 12 years old at a local store, Gameland, they used to have Soul Calibur tournaments. And you know, it was just a fun alternative for me for you know, hanging out with my friends and going skateboarding. So I'd take five, ten dollars, go play, and I actually found out I had a niche for it, you know? For sure. Yeah. And then, um, obviously, on top of that, what made you want to take fighting games seriously? Well, it was around the time that I was in Job Corps. This was about three, four years ago. And uh, we were starting a whole little third strike tournament, just me and my friends. And then I got exposed to the Daigo Perry video. And then, you know, slowly, slowly got more exposed to esports. And then, you know, I got back from Job Corps. The Xbox was still pretty fresh. I was like, I want to get an Xbox. I want to get Street Fighter 4. And I just want to be the best in Colorado. Sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. And can you name or do you remember the very first arcade stick you owned? Oh man, I had the Hori EX2 and please never ever buy that arcade stick. <laughs> An original classic. Right? You press jab and it gets stuck for 20 minutes. How long did it last? Was it useful? Um, you know, for a starting arcade stick it lasted me about 6-7 months until I started getting into more execution heavy stuff. Okay, sure. What would you say um, in your craft, the games you play? What are some of your personal strengths? Uh, I'm a very rushed down oriented player, and I've always had execution on my side. For sure. And then on top of that, what are some of your personal weaknesses in those games? Uh, my weaknesses is patience. It has been since I started playing the game, you know, throughout these last couple years of uh, playing fighting games, I've slowly developed it more and more and more, but my biggest problem is that I try too hard to get in. For sure. And um, during your uh, professional playing in the fighting games, what would you say is your most emotional or most accomplished win in the FGC? Um, my most accomplished win is when I played Half Row first of five in Marvel 2 and I beat him 5 0. Oh, nice. Shout outs to Half Row. Yeah, shout outs to Half Row. It's my buddy right there. Too oh, cool. All right. So, what would you say are some of your recipes of success? And what would you say to people who uh, are starting playing fighting games? What, would you, what kind of advice would you give to them? Practice, 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 practice. And for somebody who's really getting into fighting games, I feel playing Street Fighter 4 and picking Ryu is one of the best decisions you can make. It'll teach you everything you need to know in a fighting game. For sure. All right. And uh, you were one of the few people who, uh, or one of the many people I can say that attended uh, Evolution 2013 uh, from Colorado. Um, How did you do and then what were some of the things you learned from that experience? I feel I did pre fairly well. I tied for 17th place in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 out of about 100 people. And, you know, I think the biggest thing I learned is that there are way different styles depending on where you're from. Like, California plays completely different than New York. Texas plays different than California. And, you know, I, another thing I really learned is there's a lot of camaraderie and brotherhood in the FGC. Yeah, a lot. Sure. All right. And what, uh, what keeps you personally motivated? Is it, you know, playing for money? Is it the fame, competition? What, what, what gives you the drive to play? What motivates me to play is if, if anyone's ever down to play Marvel 2, it's, that game has my heart. I don't know what it is about the game, but as soon as I sit down on the stick and start playing somebody else, it takes me out of anything. There's no problems in my life. It doesn't matter anything go, go, going good or bad. Marvel 2 just it brings me there, you know what I mean? For sure. All right, and uh, where would you place yourself in the Colorado, uh, the fighting game scene list? And it's just overall, not in a specific game, but just as a player in general. I say I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly decent player. Um, one of my biggest problems is, is the current games, I don't practice as hard as what I should. But at, at the same time, I feel like I still do fairly well. I generally get top five. And um, at a broader specter, what would you say is Colorado's tier list compared to the rest of America? Besides California and New York, no one can beat us. So what would you say are some of the differences between the, the old school community and the new school fighting game community? New school uh, fighting game community doesn't know how to take hate not seriously. One of the biggest things from the old school arcade games 
is there was no, oh, you play two games of casuals, oh, shake hands and GGs, you know, let's get the fuck off the arcade cabinet, and put your quarterback in, you know, let's keep this moving. Right. Um, another big difference is now with the uh, encompass of online and everything, we're not losing anything if you lose online. Like, yeah, there's rank, but it's a lot different when you have $5 and that's supposed to last you the whole entire game in the arcade, minus it being on Xbox Live and you can play whenever you want at your convenience. Yeah, for sure. And um, what is or what is your definition of an OG? I think an OG is someone who went through the original struggle of playing in the arcades. You know, I've heard stories of people from the Marvel 2 days. Matter of fact, a good story is from a DS from New York. He used to walk two and a half hours on the highway, on the shoulder of the highway to get to his arcade, no matter if it was raining, if it was snowy, if it was sleety. Um, you know, someone who's just been around since basically not day one, but been around for a long time and, you know, paid their dues in the community. For sure. And do you consider yourself an OG or in the future, if not, in the future, would you like to be considered an OG? Player? I don't consider my, myself an OG yet, but hopefully in the next 10 years, I will be considered as well. For sure. Now, is there a Denver slash Springs rivalry? Yeah, but I say it's very Fisher Price. And the reason I say that is. If we start any kind of beef or any kind of hit, if I get up and someone's playing and I'm like, oh, well, you're free as fuck, they take that personally and they think I don't like them. It's right. nothing like that at all. We're just trying to motivate our different scenes and people can't get past that. Right, for sure. <laughs> and for somebody who doesn't have a specific rival, like somebody who either doesn't live in Colorado or someone who's uh, thinking of starting a community or uh, building one up from scratch, what kind of advice would you give them to start a community? I say get a TV and a system, my personal opinion, preferably Xbox. Two sticks and find people. Sure. And I, that's what I think the best thing is. If you can find people that have any amount of interest in the game at all, you can show them what it looks like at a higher level and learn to teach them because that's what my community did for me. For sure. And who would you say out of the whole community um, in Colorado, who is the most underrated or most upcoming player in the Colorado fighting game scene? I say one of the most underrated players that we have is Narn in Street Fighter 4. And then I also say Duran. Street for sure. All right, and this will be a kind of two-part question. What are some of the upcoming games you'll be playing? Any new games, or and what are also your 2014 uh, goals in the fighting game? Okay. Um, new games that I want to play that are coming out. I think the new JoJo's that isn't over here yet looks really, really, really fun. Uh, I'm very interested to see how Tekken vs. Street Fighter is going to be, as well as the new Blaze Blue. And then personal goals for myself in 2014, I just want to improve my Marvel game as much as I can, try to get a couple high-level money matches in, and, you know, be able to help my community grow. For sure. And then, um, obviously, the last uh, last but not least, any shout-outs or give, that, give out that Twitter handle, <laughs> nothing in particular? All right, man. Uh, I'd like to say shout out to Rich Kid Academy, shout out to The Chamber, uh, shout out to Project Height, shout out to Stri Strike First, uh, shout out to all my people in California, all my people in New York and Texas. Um, you know, shout out to you for doing the interview. I really like that you're doing this and showing the concern. And, um, you know, big, big shout outs to Duran and you for getting me into the fighting game scene. For sure, man. All right, so that is Kevin. Peace Mambo out, Combo. Marvel 2 for Life. And